Now we're taking a look at some compound inequalities and graphing them on the coordinate grid. If you recall from before when you had a compound inequality such as negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 6, you knew that x fell between negative 2 and 6. So now it's just a matter of graphing this in a two-dimensional plane as opposed to the one dimension of your number line. So we break this apart first into x is greater than negative 2. When I see that and I'm looking on a coordinate grid, I know that that means that I have a vertical line, and it's going to be solid because it's greater than or equal to, and it'll be at negative 2. And because it is greater than or equal to, when we highlight, we're going to highlight to the right. Now the second part of this is going to be the x is less than or equal to 6. So that I know is going to be a solid line and it's going to be another vertical line at x equals 6. And x is less than that so when we go to highlight we're going to actually just highlight the in-between because it would be everything to the left of the line but what we want is that overlapping piece so we can go ahead and highlight in between. Now one of the things you should be able to recognize that we'll do on the next problem is that it is in between so therefore we're going to highlight it in between. Next one, now we've got y, negative 3 is less than y is less than or equal to 5. So our first one, we take this negative 3 is less than y and when I see y is greater than negative 3 I know that that is a dashed line and it's going to be horizontal because it's y and it has to go through the y-axis. Then we have y is less than or equal to 5 so this is going to be a solid horizontal line going through the y-axis at 5. So then when we go to shade we are going to shade in between because in between is where our solutions lie. And so now your job is to go ahead and take a look at these two systems of linear inequalities and graph the first one. The second one you are going to, I know it's a long problem, but you're going to set up the systems of inequalities um, and that can be used to determine. Uh, you do not need to solve them, but you do need to set them up.